Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we shall see how to change the M pin in YONO SBI app. So I am assuming that you have forgotten your M pin, your login username, your login password as well as your profile password. So you don't remember anything. You just remember that you have a account in SBI and you want to get back access to the YONO SBI app. So let's see how we can do that. You have to open your YONO SBI app then you have to tap here on login using username if you remember your username then you can use your username and password but let's say you have forgotten it so first of all we will retrieve the username now to retrieve the username you have to open online sbi so you can use any browser you can either do this on your phone or you can do this on your computer and then tap here on login under personal banking then continue to login then you have to scroll down till you find this link that says forgot username login password a new page is going to open up in this page you have to tap on this drop down menu and then select forgot username then tap on next now you are going to need your cif number which you can find on your bank passbook or in your bank statement and then you have to enter your registered mobile number so i'll just quickly do that once you are done with that, just tap on submit. Then you will receive one OTP on your registered mobile number, which you have to enter here. And then your login username will be displayed. And also you are going to receive your login username as a SMS. So just take a screenshot. Now after that, we have to change the login password. To do that, you have to open online SBI once again. So just write online SBI dot SBI, then tap here on login, then continue to login. Then again, we have to tap here on forgot username, login password. Now this time we have to choose forgot my login password from the list and then tap on next. All right. Now we have to write our username, account number, country, mobile number, date of birth, and then enter the captcha. So I'll just quickly do that and we have already retrieved the username in the last step so you can use that username here now once you have entered all of your details you can just tap here on submit now you will receive one otp that you have to enter and then tap here on confirm all right now you have three options to change your password either you can use your atm card details or you can use your profile password I am assuming that you have forgotten your profile password as well. So we will use the ATM card details. All right. Now from here, we have to choose the active card that is associated with your account. So you can just choose it and then click on confirm. Now you have to enter the details of your card, like the card holder name, expiry date, pin, captcha, and then you can tap on proceed. So I'll just quickly do this as well. Once you are done with that, just tap on proceed. Now you just have to wait. Your debit card validation will be done and you will be redirected to another page. So don't click anywhere. And then you will be redirected to this page where you can change your password. So enter your password twice and then tap on submit. Your password should be more than eight characters and less than 20. It should contain one upper character, one lower character, number as well as special characters. So I'll just quickly do that. Once you're done with that, you can just tap here on submit and then your login password will be resetted and you will get this message on the screen. So now you can close your browser and then you can return back to your YONO SBI app. Then tap here on login using username. Now we have retrieved the username as well as changed the password so we can directly log in using the username and the password. So I'll just quickly do that. Now once you have logged in, you have to tap here on this menu icon, then tap here on service request. All right. Then tap here on settings. And to remove and pin also, we are going to need the profile password. So let's reset the profile password first and then tap here on forgot profile password. Now, if you remember your security question, you can use that question here and then answer and then try to reset. Otherwise, you can use your debit card details and then tap on submit. All right, then you will be taken to this page where you can create a new profile password. 
so you have to enter the profile password twice and just as in the case with the login password it should be between 8 to 20 digits it should be a combination of upper letters lower letters special character and a number so i'll just quickly do that once you are done with that you can just tap here on confirm then enter the otp on the next page then just tap on submit all right then your profile password will be changed and as a security measure you will be logged out so you will have to log in again so just tap here on go to login all right now tap here on login using username and then quickly log in into your account now tap here on this menu icon once again then tap on service request then tap on settings now you might be thinking that we should tap on change m pin but to change the m pin you are going to need the existing m pin which you have forgotten so we cannot change the m pin we have to remove the m pin and then create a new m pin so just tap here on this second option under security that is remove m pin and use your profile password which you have created in the last step and then tap here on confirm tap on yes and your m pin will be removed all right now we have to create the m pin so we have to follow the same step just tap here on menu and then tap on service request then settings and now you can see we have this option set m pin so tap on it just scroll down tick this acknowledgement and then tap on next now you can enter the m pin that you want to create it has to be six digits in length like one two three or one 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 these are not allowed and you cannot use your date of birth as well so i'll just quickly do that now now once you're done with that just tap on next then again you will receive one otp which you have to enter and then tap on next and then finally your m pin will be resetted or a new m pin will be created so you can just tap here on ok and then you can log out and try to log in using your new m pin so that's all for this video i hope you were able to reset or recreate your m pin by following the steps that i have showed in the video so don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it's free for you but it helps me a lot when you subscribe to my channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching